6, one student school project could lead to life-changing advances for people around the world. He's designing a prosthetic hand. And with the school's help, he's using 3D technology to make that design a reality. WBZ's Liam Martin has his story. So if I plug it in and then press down on this sensor, his laptop has a NASA sticker on it, and Christian Devec might very well one day work there. This sketch right here is the very first one I did. Right now, he's at Beaver Country Day in Chestnut Hill, perfecting his design of a prosthetic hand. He wants disabled classmates to have an affordable option. In the summer, I had an idea as to how I could help students with tasks during school. Christian started with some sketches of a hand that would use a motor and strings to get the fingers to grip. So once Christian had his final design down on paper, he needed a way to actually manufacture it. It just so happens that here at Beaver Country Day, they have five 3D printing machines. We, we do our best to make sure that we can make just about anything here in at least one way. He works really hard, and it's really fun to watch him. His teachers helped him take that design, print the pieces, and create a hand. Here's how it works. All of the fingers are jointed, and then the strings go from the very tips inside the hand. Those strings then connect to a servo motor, which connects to a sensor that rests on the person's bicep. The person would flex their arm. Right. That would touch off that process and the fingers would grip. Right, so in the end I envision this being attached to a, a strap on your arm. That gripping would allow disabled students to carry their school supplies or open doors, and Christian has equipped it with a ruler and a thumb drive in the thumb. I want it to be almost customizable in the sense that they can pick and choose what they want on it, but it's still able to help them replace the limb they don't have. Christian is still working on the design. He wants it to eventually look like this. So does he plan to sell it when he's done? Nope. He wants to give it away for free. What I think I'll do from there is release the files for it online so people who can help uh, with 3D printers or people who need prosthetic limbs can use those files for free to create their own. Pretty cool kid, huh? And if you make the parts yourself or if you go buy it, you know, from him, if, if you aren't able to get your hands on a 3D printer, it's only $300 or maybe less, which is, of course, way cheaper yeah. than any other prosthetic hand you're going you're gonna to find on the open market. And by the way, I will say, shop class has come a long way. Yes. Since when we were in school. <laughs> Made cutting boards. I was making, like, bridges out of noodles, and this kid is 3D printing. So it's, it's remarkable. He's going to go a long way. Wow. Question is. He, so he's brilliant, and he's got a big heart. Exactly. That's the part that got me is when he right. said, I'll just release the files yeah. for free. He's a cool kid. Great story. Incredible. Awesome. Thanks, Thank you. And to see